Okay, let's talk about uh, two inch uh, eyepieces. You know, I have a 10 inch uh, Dobsonian uh, that takes two inch eyepieces and one and a quarter. And just want to tell you my experience with these eyepieces might help you when you're shopping for eyepieces. Um, kind of the lower end uh, eyepieces that you'll find, I don't see any listed on Amazon right now, um, but you have these um, the Celestron. Uh, Elux, you'll see these out there. This is a 40 millimeter, and you know these do a decent job. And when you compare it to looking through a 1.25 inch uh, eyepiece, it's pretty impressive at first. Um, but I found uh, the views. I didn't find it this very sharp at all. And this is a low end. I think it's just a three element um, line of eyepieces. So these, you know, are bar. You know, tend to be on the lower end. I usually, you can find them in the high 30s or 40s, as far as price wise. And you know, if you're on a budget, that's that's certainly a uh, way to go. Um, but uh, I don't think you'll be satisfied long term with these Eluxes. Um, same thing. Uh, this Jumel wide field uh, came with my Jumel uh, telescope. And again, I never just got you know uh, after the initial use of it. You know, we're like, wow, this is nice and wide. Look, it just the sharpness just was not there. So. Um, I just didn't think uh, I was going to keep it, so I think uh, you can do better. Now, these wide fields, I've seen a uh, wide field and very similar looking eyepiece on some other brands. I'm pretty sure it's the same eyepiece. For example, uh, right here, here's uh, Orion with their Q70 wide field telescope eyepiece, and it looks almost identical uh, to this one. And they got for $99, which I think is way overpriced. But unless there is some differences in that eyepiece, uh, I certainly would not recommend it. Um, I would recommend, I think better than these lower end eyepieces, is uh, Russell Optics makes, uh, they, they have a, in Arkansas, they have this uh, manufacturing where they make by hand eyepieces. And you have these Koenig, this wide field Koenig. Now these are like, uh, 50 some degree uh, view, but this is better quality, I think. This is an 18, but I'm pretty sure that their 30s, 35s in this is a, probably a better deal, and they tend to be about in the $30 range, high 30s, low 40s for these. I find these really good. They, they just are sharper, I find, than these lower end uh, two inch eyepieces that you get from the major manufacturers. Um, so you have to go to Russell Optics, and I'll put a link there, or he often sells on eBay too. So you're looking for these super white. So they're not pretty looking eyepieces, but uh, I've been impressed by the quality. I think this is a really good eyepiece. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Now to go a little bit more in price, you can go with these uh, big things, these uh, softball things. Now this is a Mead. I got a 40 millimeter, which is I'm replacing. I'm actually selling these. Uh, this has a 60 uh, degree field of view and you know when you put your eye up to it it seems like more than 60 to me I mean I think it's pretty impressive so you get a, a much you get sharper images almost uh, throughout uh, across the whole eyepiece um, I wouldn't say throughout at all but this is a better quality eyepiece so I paid like 70 for this on eBay and you know you can find them occasionally on Amazon but this is a 60 uh, this is a 60 degree field of view. This one, a five element Plossel. So, you know, this is a little less expensive than some of the other ones, but I found the quality to be very good. The only thing with an eyepiece like this, it is very heavy and you have to be cognizant of that. So you might have to use counterweights if it's uh, really throwing off your telescope or it's starting to move on its own and that can happen. So just be aware of that. These things are very heavy. That's the main downside to it, but this is a good quality and uh, I think it's worth the money if you can get it for uh, 70 to 80 dollars. I paid, I think, 76 with shipping. Uh, so I think that's a good quality eyepiece, and I'm happy with that. I would highly recommend it. And then you can go a little bit higher end, and you can get this ultra wide field. This is a 82 degree uh, field of view. This is a 24 millimeter Mead. Okay, and you know these are kind of Mead's uh, cheaper version. Okay of uh, some of the high-end eyepieces that are uh, wide field, 82 degree or 100 degree wide field of view. 
and right now I'm seeing uh, on Amazon it's at 120 26 uh, so that's a pretty good price that's about what I paid for this I got this on eBay but this is that's about what I paid for this and again this uh, gives you the 82 degree field of view which is nice it's, it's pretty sharp throughout uh, the eyepiece wherever you look from from end to end again very heavy this is even heavier than that one and again the weight is the biggest issue because it can be kind of tricky in the dark when you're putting this in sometimes you will bump and move the telescope if you're not real careful and that's the biggest downside to this um, but I really like this I'm sure it's the quality isn't quite as good as uh, some of your ones that are like this that are 300 bucks but I think you're getting pretty pretty close to it okay um, another uh, one I would recommend uh, is a Celestron Luminos to see if there's any up here so there's your Luminos okay there's 31 millimeter and there's they have a Barlow but I would be confident in a 31 millimeter because uh, they just seem pretty well made uh, but this is two hundred dollars I mean that's that's a lot I don't know if I'd pay that much I think that's too much I think you're better off that is a big gonna be a big heavy eyepiece I think the meat is a better deal than that and um, I think it's likely as good a quality as a Celestron Luminos I think that's way overpriced for Luminos these ultimate duos I can't speak of um, but those are 1.25 inch anyway so anyway so that's my experience uh, so I would recommend these Russell Optics Super Wide Koenigs would not recommend uh, the Elux Celestron or the Jumel Wide Field would recommend these Meads okay um, there's some generic ones that are on eBay uh, from China can't recommend as I haven't seen them haven't used them these are all made in China now anyway um, but anyway hopefully that helps uh, from my experience with these eyepieces we'll see you later if you have any questions or stuff let me know